hey guys i have some random fruits left from my fruit salad that i have made and i'm about to show you how to make a children's fruit salad yeah how to make the fruits nice so that they can go ahead and eat it because i believe once you cut it they will eat it all right so let's get this going so we have just pegged our orange and we're going to pull it apart we're going to just get the pegs them single single we don't want to peel it and give them to eat when you do that they don't eat it sometime so we're just pulling them apart right about now all right so guys with the grapes we're just cutting them in two As for our strawberries now guys we're going to also cut those in two As for our papaya we're going to remove the seed and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to dice it up alrighty so we peel our papaya and then we go ahead and we dice it up just like that as for the pineapple we peel it and then we dice in it as well not too small that's it so what we are doing now we are dicing up our melon and you're going to remove the seed the melon seed as long as you can see the seed you remove it we are just gonna go ahead now and combine all our fruits together all righty so for this one i'm using some pineapple strawberry orange melon watermelon grapes and some papaya you can use just about any fruits guys you can't go wrong with no fruits at all all right so we're gonna just combine everything together now we're, we're just going to mix mix to combine everything together then i'm gonna add my secret ingredients no children leave these fruits whenever time you make these fruits they're gonna eat it all off so this is it guys after combining everything and add my secret ingredients this is what we have come with our nice lovely children fruit salad all righty so go ahead parents and try this one you're gonna uh, you, you you yourself also going to love it not only the children but you yourself sure will enjoy this food salad all righty so after we have tossed everything together we are going to just now add my secret ingredients righty and my secret ingredient is rose water guys you all know how rose water smell right that nice smell oh they can't resist these fruits then i'm going to add a little honey all right and we are going to just combine that together yeah
So you're gonna give that a good mix, guys. So guys, here is another fruit salad and for this fruit salad, I am using some papaya, pineapple, some OTE the apple, watermelon, last, not, last but not least, some strawberries and we're going to add to all of that our pumpkin seed and a little chia seed. So, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to mix all of these fruits together and we're going to just consume them after. I am really, really a food person and I, I, I think fruits should be consumed on an empty stomach. Reason being, it helps the digestive system. But I, I guys, I do it two way. I consume fruits on an empty stomach. And I also consume fruits during throughout the day, right? And I consume it with other food as well. Because I am really, really, I am really a fruits person. Any fruits at all? Any fruits at all? As for the children, them know, you know that once you cut it, they will eat it. Right? So the other fruit salad that I have made for the children... You notice that I had gone ahead and I add some secret ingredients to it, like some rose water. You know, that's smelling really nice. So, you know, when they smell that, you know, they're going to eat it. And I also add a little honey as well. All righty. So, yeah, my belief is once you cut it, they will eat it. And that's what I have been doing most of the time for my nieces, nephew. I mean, godchildren. Um grandchildren once you cut it guys no joke about it they will eat it so these are two different fruit salads so go ahead and make any one and enjoy them fruits is healthy fruits is good so we're gonna go ahead now and this is my container and because i'm going to leave some in the fridge i am using a container with a cover and it's not going to in the fridge long, you know, guys, because as I say, I'm a fruity person. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my papaya. Next up, my oatmeal apple. My pineapple. Along with my melon and i have gone ahead and tried to remove a lot of the seed from the melon but i didn't remove all the seed then i'm gonna go ahead and add my strawberries all right so we're gonna mix that all right let us just add our ingredients before we mix it so we don't have to do two mix you don't want to mash up your fruits but you can combine the fruits together and then you add your whatever you are adding to it whatever that you like i'm adding some pumpkin seed along with that a little chia seed we're gonna jizzle a little all over see how lovely and colorful that looks already then i am using some lemon juice and the reason why i'm using some lemon juice this is to pre preserve the seed there fruits because i'm going to leave some of the fruits and i want it to i don't want them to turn black <clears throat> so 
So you know the acidic in the lemon juice will preserve. And I'm going to grab my two. And I'm going to just mix. So you want to use a steep container because you want to know that ensure that when you are mixing, nothing is jumping out of the bowl. But if something jump out, you know, just take off the back. Alright. We want to mix that without mashing up our fruits. And when you are making a fruit salad and you know you are going to leave some of the fruits, choose the fruits them that. So this is our fruits. This is what it look like. Looking big. That is looking very lovely. So you know who this is packaged for already, right? So we're just going to just cover that. So yeah. That's it. We are so blessed. Our island is so blessed. I always have fresh fruits to eat. And I, I eat fruits every day as long as i have it as long as i can find the money to buy it i will buy it and i will consume it because i love fruits and this is one of the reasons why i love my little island jamaica we always have the fresh fruits and the good old coconut jelly water to drink so with all of that said and done thank you for watching keep watching sharing comment like the video and there's only one palace kitchen so welcome to palace kitchen